how do you determine they have chronic inflammation? And mm -hmm. then what do you look at um, in their genetic reports? A lot of it has to do with that toxic burden on the body. You know, we have so many little indicators within the DNA 360 as far as like how is your body detox and therefore deal with inflammation. I think that toxins and inflammation are really one in the same as far as a conversation is concerned. And it's exactly what you said, Dr. Laura. We've got acute, which is like you get stung by a bee. It swells up to quarantine the poison, right? It swells it up with water and that deals with the injury. But when we zoom out and we have more of a systemic inflammation where we can't turn the inflammatory response off now, we have to kind of look at why does your body have so much inflammation and where is it coming from? To me, if you have a systemic inflammation going on, it means that you have a lot of toxic burden and it's very difficult for your body to deal with it because it's coming from so many locations at the same time. So like, for example, I'll look at your glutathionization profile, which speaks to respiratory tract, gut microbiome, as well as liver. So let's say you have suboptimal glutathionization. Well, we can operate under the assumption that your body is not getting that phase two detoxification in these numerous locations and you're having more toxic load more toxic load means more inflammation because your body is recognizing things as an enemy 